Hi, I'm Dr. Johnny, and today I'm showing you one of my favorite combinations, which is treating the high cheek, high lateral cheek, and then the jawline. Two of the most sought after treatments, and it's a combination that many people like the results because they're actually connected. I'm gonna show you on the video now. We'll go to the patient being injected and follow through. So here we're making an opening with a 23 gauge needle. I'm going to use a 25 gauge 2 inch micro cannula. The 2 inch allows me to stay on the high cheek and then actually treat just to one of the most important points of reflection which is at that lateral canthus. For a male we want to be a little more medial. For the female we want to be a little lateral. On that high cheek the cheekbone represents beauty, youth, and fertility. It's very, very important. Some people are born with a high cheekbone and zygomatic arch, and we gotta be careful not to augment it too much. But for those who want a little more, it's great because you can watch the jawline pick up as you use the product. Here we're using radius or calcium hydroxyl appetite. And this product represents 70% carrier and then the 30% of the calcium product. So it's a good long lasting product and creates very sharp angles. There's a high G prime. Now we always cleanse. Cleansing is important. We want to avoid biofilms or infection. And we again make the opening along the jawline. Now we picked it up already by volumizing the upper face. We always start in the upper and now we're going directly to the jawline. One of the previous videos I showed you the jawline of the male. It's just as important in the female and you can sculpt below if they need at the same time with Kybella or fat dissolving injections. But just adding that angle at the ramus creates a nice look and it's very comfortable for the patient when you use the micro cannula in this manner. I don't use any injection of lidocaine to make the openings. I do look for vessels when I'm making the opening and you'll almost never bruise if you look closely. Again, we cleanse with a combination of cleansers, create that opening, and you see how the patient is angled. When I teach, I often tell injectors just to watch where their bed is, the positioning of the bed. Make life easy for yourself. Make the angle natural, move the bed up or down, and make a straight plane. You see, I rarely have to flex my micro cannula. Now I'm in the fat layer here. I'm not at the level of the periosteum, especially in the mid pupil to the nasal region. I use exclusively cannula. On the high zygomatic arch, you may choose to use a needle in that lift and tack technique and putting the product on the periosteum, on the bone. But with radius, there's a high G prime. And in this case, we're just creating the angle. Again, create that opening cleanse the area, you easily find the opening and inject again along the fat layer. Now at the tip of my cannula will be where the facial artery is, right in that area there. You can tell when you're there because you see my index finger is holding the front of the masseter. And that's where the facial artery runs in front of that masseter. The vein is tortuous and runs through the muscle. The artery is tortuous because the mouth has to open and, and close. So like an accordion, it has to have flex. So we can sculpt a little bit. I don't massage a lot because I want the product exactly where I put it. I love pressure because you see there was no blood involved with this procedure at all, but a little bit of pressure will prevent that. So there's a combination that's quick, relatively easy for the patient and the injector, and it's immediate results. The high cheek, and the jawline. Thanks for joining me today. Let's hear your comments below. Join us on Facebook and on Instagram for continued helpful tips. Keep your skin and body beautiful, healthy, and vibrant.